Hello and welcome to episode 7 of the Daily Decrypt. My name is Amanda. Today it takes 252 dollars, 220 euros, or 164 pounds to buy one bitcoin. And as always, the traffic noises outside are included for free. Coindesk reports that the exchanges Bitfinex, BTCC, Kraken, Unocoin, and Zappo have decided to pool their resources in a way in a private sidechain. The Blockstream administered sidechain, called Liquid, is expected to be launched in early 2016. Sidechains are also expected to provide confidential transactions which will allow the exchanges to mask their commercial trades. Sidechains are still only theoretical as of today, but that could change if the liquid sidechain proves to be a success come 2016. Nick Zabo is one of the few people in possession of a white paper on a project entitled Rootstock. Project creators claim that Rootstock would be a meta layer on the Bitcoin protocol, which would give it the full functionality of Ethereum-like smart contracts. Brave New Coin reports that the Rootstock white paper has been promised for release at the Latin American Bitcoin conference during the first week of December. BitShares is expected to launch version 2.0 today. Another smart contract platform, BitShares currently offers decentralized asset exchange, a collateralized bond market, user-issued assets, and commodity-pegged smart coins, among other things. BitShares reports that the version 2.0 should be able to process up to 100 transactions per second in comparison with Bitcoin's 7 transactions per second. Bitcoin Magazine reports that the second annual BitFilm Festival will get kicked off in Berlin on October 31st. The festival is dedicated entirely to Bitcoin and will feature panels as well as a blockchain developers contest. Its closing event will take place December 12th in Buenos Aires. Wired reports that the Open Garden chat application, FireChat, is setting their sights on bringing local communications to areas stricken by disaster. FireChat allows smartphone users within close proximity of one another to create a literal mesh net via Bluetooth. You may remember that during the Hong Kong protests last year, FireChat was protesters' communication tool of choice, and the app saw over a half a million downloads in just a couple of days. Ars Technica reports that Move Interactive has just released a new product called Bird. A small device slipped onto the finger. Bird enables a user to control digital content that's projected on a screen or on a wall. Laden with sensors and cameras, Multiple birds can even be used to fly a drone. Current pricing is about $250. And finally, the Daily Mail has reported on the Poly Eyes, a wearable chameleon head powered by Raspberry Pis, which allow the user to see in 180 degrees and independently move each of their two chameleon head eyes. That's your Daily Decrypt for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our podcast if you're on the go.